Hello everyone. Today, we're gonna talking about design pattern, and we will start with observer pattern. Now, we will start with a problem, which is post office box. A typical example for the observer pattern is the conventional mail delivery system. Whenever you have a mail, the postman will come and knock at your door with the mail. Just imagine if you have to go to the post office every day and check whether there are any mails. It would have been a really inefficient system as each individual needs to go to the post office periodically. What about the solution? Now, we have a solution. This solution will become an efficient one after applying the observer pattern. In this case, the office is not observing you, and you will not receiving any special offer from it. Let's say that you're not subscribed in the post office, so you will not receive anything from it. The observer pattern is all about the subscribe and unsubscribe procedures. Someday, you plan to go and subscribe in the post office. All what you need is to request from the observer and tell him that you are interested in his office's magazines. You can also unsubscribe by telling the observer about your situation. Then you will be officially not observing by the post office. Now, let's talk about observer pattern class diagram. First, we have an interface called subject and another interface called observer. The subject interface contains three prototype methods. The first one is the add observer. The next one is the remove observer and the last one is the notify observer. The observer interface has only one method, which is the update method. And there is a class called post office which implements the subject interface and this class must implement the three methods in the subject interface. And the new mail method is invokes the notify observers method when a new mail is received. And the final class is called the mailbox, which implements the observer interface. And the update method is invokes when the notify observer method in the post office class is invoked. Now, Let's talk a little bit about the implementation. The observer interface has a prototype method called update. The subject interface has three prototype methods. Add observer that takes observer object, which means subscribe me, then the observer will receive a mail. Remove observer which means unsubscribe me, and this will remove the observer, and he will not receive any mail. The notify observer takes only one responsibility which is, notify any observer when any new mail is received. Now, we have a new class which called, post office, which implements the subject interface. So, we must implement all the abstract methods in that interface. The observer will be notified by making an iteration on the array list. Then, the update method will be invoked for every observer. And there is an array list of observer in this class. We use it when we want to add an observer or removing an observer from this array list. And when a new mail is received, the notify observer will invoke. The mailbox class implements the observer that has an update method that invokes when a new mail is arrived. Finally, we have the main class which contains the main method. We have an object of mailbox class and another object from the post office class. Now, we can add a new observer and removing an observer by calling the methods that you want. 